Hey guys, so today I am going to do something fun and exciting. I'm going to do an unboxing and first insertion of the new Dexcom G6 continuous glucose monitoring system. Um, I have been on the fence about getting one of these for a long time. I had one about 10 years ago, and back then the technology was not what it is today. Um, I didn't have a great experience with it. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Dexcom G6, um, exactly how they sent it to me, and I'm also going to be demonstrating how I insert it for the very first time, you know, to kind of keep a record of this. Um, it is not... Uh, meant to be instructional this video because this is my first time doing it. I have looked at the Dexcom um, YouTube videos on how to do this. I've read the materials that they've sent me. I have spoken with the Dexcom representative. So just based on all that stuff, I'm going to insert this thing for the first time. Please do not use this video um, as an instructional video if it's your first time doing this. Please go to um, official Dexcom stuff for that purpose. So, all right, let's get right into the unboxing. They sent it to me in a FedEx box and right inside here, I have receiver, sensor, transmitter. And I have two of these guys, two transmitter boxes. Um, I already went through the Dexcom G6 app and set up my low and high alerts and um, got my login information, did all of the initial stuff. And likewise, I did also turn this on to set up the time and the date so that that would be all ready to go um, when I inserted it. But here is what it looks like straight out of the box, um, how they sent it to me. It's these three different components. So starting with the receiver, this is the thing that um, picks up your glucose values and gives you the little graphs and you also have the option of using your smartphone um, to have all that information sent through Bluetooth onto your phone and one of the cool things with the G6 is that you can have up to five followers so that means you can share your um, I, I guess you can share as much information as you want to um, either your, your graphs your glucose like what it is at the moment you can share that with five different people and that's a pretty cool feature so here is what the receiver looks like. Um, pretty cool, it's a touch screen. It's about that size. I already set up the time and the date, so this one is ready for me to insert a sensor. Underneath here, we have, ooh, covers. <laughs> so I guess you have the option of putting either a pink or a blue cover onto your receiver. This looks like the charger and then a charging cable. And we have setup guide. So that's what came in that box. And then to open up the sensor. So this is the thing that actually goes into your body see when you open the box it looks like this this is a little quick start guide okay i'll check that out and then here are the three sensors that is what it looks like it's pretty big you know one of my com my concerns with this uh system just from my first impression and also seeing other videos on YouTube of people opening these things is that these are one-time use insertion devices and it just feels to me like a lot of medical waste you know each time you use one of these you're using this whole package but anyway that's what that looks like it's a one-time use thing I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out to insert and then we have the transmitter the transmitter comes in a small box and that's the um, the little plastic thing that goes on top of your sensor when you have it in the sensors last for 10 days on the g6 and the transmitters last for three months here's what this looks like Ooh, it's really small wow it's like a lot smaller in person than it looked on videos that I saw. That's really, really small. That is smaller than, I don't know, it almost looks like a little USB thing. Okay, so there's that. 
that's it okay all right so i think i am ready to insert the device um one of my complaints about the cgm that i had 10 years ago is that it really sucked to insert and most of the time it would hurt like probably i don't know eight out of ten times it hurt a lot um or would bleed and it would just like take forever to to feel good once it was inserted and this one what i've heard from reviews so far is that it's absolutely painless um I have a hard time believing that for some reason that it's absolutely painless but we'll see and you can see it all on camera um, to see if it actually is painless so here's how you do this and there it is so it's got two little adhesive things and it's also got a code um, the code I already went through the setup on my receiver the code is important to put into your receiver because these are actually um, no calibration required. The G6, one of the new features on the G6 is that you don't have to calibrate with finger sticks. Um, so it's important that you get that code into your receiver um, so that it'll be able to read your blood sugars without calibrating it manually. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to use, um, let's see. Put it maybe, I'm just measuring, put it maybe right here. All right, one question. I have a lot of scars from stretch marks from being pregnant, and it said not to put it in an area with scars, but my whole belly has scars, so uh, yeah, I wonder if that's going to affect anything. All right, I'll put it right there. So here, I'm going to take off the adhesive. All right, so just stick it, I guess just right, right there, stick it on. Okay, it is stuck. And then we're going to snap off this little guy. Ah! Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> now we just push the button. One, two. Okay, it's in. Ooh. Okay, guys, that was it. Wow, um, I felt it. I wouldn't describe it as pain, but I definitely felt it go in. And from everything that I've seen, people said that you absolutely cannot feel it. I felt it and it hurt a little bit and it still hurts a tiny bit. I mean, hardly at all. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that compared to what I've heard people say that you can't feel a thing, I did feel something, but it didn't hurt and it definitely wasn't uncomfortable. And in a way, the feeling is reassuring because I know that it went in. Um, <laughs> so, okay, that there, there's that. And then the last thing to do for this is to hook in this little guy. go and then we gotta press press okay had to kind of push but that is pretty sleek what do you think I mean it sticks out a little bit but it's fairly sleek and with the shirt yeah you can see it if I'm wearing a tight shirt but not terrible All right, so the sensor is in, the transmitter is in, and now I'm going to turn my receiver back on to get this thing set up. So insert sensor did that, attach transmitter did that, next. Completed inserting sensor into your body? Yes. Please wait, transmitter and receiver pairing it may take 30 minutes. Um, but okay, so that's the screen, it says pairing, and I think it'll just continue to say pairing until it finds finds the device. So, okay, I'll set that aside. All good to go. All right, first thoughts, my initial thoughts. Um, this thing, that is a lot of packaging to use every time you put a sensor into your body. When it comes to pain, 
I did feel it, and everything that I saw said that it, you couldn't feel it. In fact, I heard one review say that the company had to add a clicking noise into it um, because once before it was um, it didn't even make a sound, and people weren't sure that it was actually in. So they had to add the clicking noise just so that people knew that it worked. That's how much they couldn't feel it. So I did feel it, but I wouldn't really describe it as being painful. It wasn't painful. And now that it's been in for a few minutes, I don't feel it at all. Yeah, I don't feel it at all. I don't think that that'll bother me. Um, clicking in the um, transmitter uh, wasn't too difficult, but you did have to kind of push there. It didn't hurt to do that. Uh, so yeah, the setup was fairly straightforward. I did all of this just by watching YouTube videos and reading reading the instructional materials. I didn't have like a, a demo in person to do this, so it was all pretty easy and straightforward. The Dexcom device itself was um, fairly pricey and it many insurances will cover it, but with my particular insurance, they do cover it, but you have to meet your um, family deductible before the, they will start covering it. And um, depending on what your insurance plan is, that means you might have to be paying out of pocket for these for quite a long time until you meet that deductible. So um, that's another reason why it's taken me so long to get one is because I knew it would be a huge initial cost. And uh, it was the whole, like this whole box that I got, it was about $1,200. Um, I don't remember the exact amount, but it was 1200 something dollars. Um, for everything you saw me open just now. One thing to offset the cost of that is that this isn't like an insulin pump that you have no choice, that you have to wear, have to keep buying the stuff. Um, this is just to keep track of your glucose 24 seven. And for some people they, that might be considered essential, but for me, it's not. I've been using finger sticks for the 18 years that I've been diabetic and I can always go back to using that. I see the real advantage to having a CGM as being able to wear it for like a month at a time and to get your blood sugars back on track, figure out your basal rates, you know, do things like that. In my particular situation, I'm trying to get my blood sugars flatlined so that I can go into preconception mode because, um, I don't know, sometime, I don't know exactly when, but in the next year, my husband and I would like to try to have a second baby. So that was a big reason why I got the CGM now was so that I could get my blood sugars really flatline and sort of get my A1C to what I would want it to be when I'm pregnant before I actually get pregnant. I find like a lot of the stress of, the, of that first trimester when you're pregnant with type 1 diabetes comes from um, not knowing if you have perfect blood sugar control. And so I like to get into pregnancy levels before I actually get pregnant. So, um, so yeah back to the cost issue you don't have to wear this around the clock you can choose when you wear it and so you could make a three month supply last for six months um, or more if you weren't wearing it every day all the time so those are my first thoughts on the dexcom g6 i'm really excited to get back to you guys on um, how it works and um, my my thoughts my impressions how accurate it is I hope to have more videos coming out about this but for now that was just my unboxing first insertion um, and yeah I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye